Hello again, all. MTP number 56, and we're going to wing this one. All right, I'm way behind, and I, I picked three out that kind of look like they're along the same theme. Um, first, the theme of uh, pain after a penile implant, and then second, kind of the appearance at the after you've had a penile implant. And I'm only going to use the first names, so I don't divulge any... <laughs> thing improprietary, okay? So first is Kathleen, all right? Kathleen, you're gonna know exactly who you are because I'm gonna read some of the, some of the uh, note to you so you can understand where she's coming from. She says, dear Dr. Perito, call me Paul, please. I'm much, I'm, I'm gonna just paraphrase it. I'm much younger. She's 43, her husband's 62. He had an implant three years ago and he has never, and she put that in bold, Yes, never used it to his full capacity due to pain. He complains of pain in his testicles and his penis, and it hurts constantly. Um, we both also noticed his penis is a lot smaller than prior to having the procedure. My husband's penis is only four inches in its current state, and he had a seven to eight inch penis prior to that. Is it possible to lose that much length due to atrophy? So let's, let's start with the latter part first, mm -hmm. Kathleen. So um, I'm sure, I hope you've seen penis size, penis size, penis size, because yes, you can lose a significant amount. And if your husband really was seven to eight inches, he's one out of 30 guys, because that's extremely rare and that God bless him. But you can lose an amazing amount of length and girth. And I've said it pr prior, once you're rendered impotent, you can lose somewhere between 0.5 and five centimeters over the course of 14 months. That's what's in the literature. So atrophy can be dramatic in some cases. I'm not saying that uh, you know the implant was properly sized and he's going to be four inches. I'd have to examine him. But yes, that can happen. Now, pain afterwards. And uh, Dr. Sarmiento and I were on a recent paper looking at how to control pain in the uh, patient postoperatively after an IVP. IVP and um, it, it, some, of, some of the remedies that we were looking at, y yes, you know, these are remedies that can be necessary, and it depends upon how you size the implant. So we like to gently oversize. If you grossly oversize somebody, then you're going to have pain for longer than somebody that was gently oversized. Grossly oversizing, I think, is a, a bad idea because the implant is going to do much of the work on its own because at least the implant that we use, it's based out, uh, off of polymer, so it will increase in both length and girth symmetrically. Now, I don't know if you guys have been informed to cycle this implant. And again, and I know, I think it's M MTP 21, we go over the exercise where you pump it all the way up, you bend it right, you hold the base, bend it right, left, up, down, right, left, up, down, and then you try to give it a couple more pumps so that the, those tissues that have fibrosed or atrophied down have a chance to grow. Now, with re repetitive cycling, uh, you should get rid of the pain. And I have inadvertently grossly oversized some people and sometimes intentionally because they've asked me to, you know, especially in girth. Sometimes that period of time that will, will take much longer. Three years, that, do, that doesn't make sense. You have to worry about an indolent infection when it's gone three years. But it could be a gently oversized or grossly oversized penis that you just not have You've not had the chance to rehabilitate those tissues. Um, and, it, you know, if, if there's chronic pain beyond, for in, in our case, say six months would be the max we would see in guys that we have oversized and too much, then you start worrying about other things like an indolent infection. But Kathleen, I, you know, I hope that you can do this cycling and there's some medications that can be administered when you're doing this cycling to get past it. And I hope that it's just a, a matter of rehabilitating the penis uh, to, to its uh, utmost ability. Um, the next one is Meredith. So it's, yeah, I think Meredith, yeah, Meredith is, is, is uh, a guy who's had his implant two months ago and he's complaining about this, this pain in, you know, that's over mostly on one side of his penis. And you can have, you know, unilateral pain if you had a, a corpora or an erectile body that required more work to be done on it. But again, 
that pain should go away if you cycle that implant. I cannot impress upon you how important it is to do this penile rehabilitation after the procedure. Um, and it's, it's, it's been described as modeling to, in order to get things straighter and get things more symmetric. But you know, if you have pain on one side, um, hopefully it's because it required more work on that side and you just need to cycle that implant aggressively. So those two questions kind of came together. But finally, Steve, Steve, I love this one. Uh, I'm a grower, not a shower. Uh, with the penile implant, will my flaccid penis still withdraw back into its hiding place? I hope not. I hope it'll come out straight. Now, I have guys that complain about this. Um, the, the fact of the matter is you will no, no longer have any shrinkage. And I know I've talked about this in the past, the Seinfeldian uh, shrinkage that I, I can't remember. Who what was the name of it? George, yeah, George, George was complaining about his shrinkage. You're not going to have shrinkage any longer. Now, I'm not in the business of making penises soft. So how it hangs soft, you're going to be able to determine that by either leaving a few pumps in it or not leaving a few pumps in it. Um, but it will not telescope down. So, for example, if you're going through TSA, and then the one where they just, you know, they, where you stand up and they take a shot of you, they might see a protrusion, and that's only because it won't telescope down, but they're not going to see any of the elements on the inside. So they'll want you, and you should be proud of that because you no longer have, you're, you're always a shower. Um, you, you won't have to be a grower any longer. So, um, and you might have some pain associated with it in the beginning if it, we kind of pushed, you know, the, the envelope when it comes to pro, uh, proper sizing of that implant. So I, I felt that, like these three were you know, pretty representative of what we've been seeing go back to penis size, penis size, penis size, everybody. And we, we're going to do, um, we're, we're at least going to put on, you know, the YouTube site as well as our site. A, a, a good demonstration of a guy who's got an implant doing his post-operative rehabilitation because that is invaluable. You will get increases in length and girth over time, and this can be for the first two years of the life of the implant. And I've had some 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 uh, non-believers uh, send me some great pictures with their partners having champagne, saying, "Hell yeah, that works." So. Um, don't forget, we will get that rehabilitation uh, uh, video to you guys very soon. And don't forget that that pain overall is because you just have not been able to rehabilitate the penis adequately. And um, we look forward to you guys having no pain. So yes, no pain, no gain. We'll see you for MTP 57.